Today we are going to look at all the important points for when we start growing avocados from seeds until we get to the moment of grafting them to speed up production. To plant them, we are going to try to find a very large avocado that looks healthy, because this will ensure good germination capacity. We open it and it is very important to clean all the seeds well so that there are no traces of pulp left. But on the other hand, it is very important to keep in mind that once we harvest them, we have to plant them right away. And for the special case of this type of plants, we are going to look for the most common black soil you have. It is important that it does not retain water. And if we find that the soil is very compact, I recommend adding approximately one part of this black soil to one part of sand to prevent it from compacting, because they have a very special characteristic. The roots are very sensitive to excess water when we are growing them. On the one hand, we can look for a pot. It is always important that it is well perforated and if they are very small we can add a cut plastic bottle. This is mainly to be able to have a good main root so that later when we transplant them we will have very strong plants. And to orient the seed, we are going to look for the widest part. This has to go down because this is where the root is going to come out and the part that looks like a point is going to be up to achieve better germination. I am going to leave it buried until approximately halfway. And if we are in very dry environments, we can cover them with a bag so that it contains a little more humidity in this entire upper part. And just as we plant them, we are going to leave them in a well-lit environment so that once it begins to germinate, the first leaf that is going to come out can meet the sunlight and this will speed up the entire germination process. During the first year, when we see that the plant has begun to sprout leaves and the stem is growing, in this particular case we will water the plant once we see that the soil is dry, because if we overwater it, the roots will be seriously affected. On the other hand, I recommend that you leave the plants in a place where they receive a good amount of sunlight, because this will allow them to accumulate more energy and thus we will achieve much stronger plants. Although we can let avocado plants from seeds grow for time to pass until they start to flower, the problem we will have here, as with any plant grown from seed, is that it can take many years to start flowering for the first time. And one of the options that can be done to speed up production is to graft them. But until the plant reaches a well-developed stem that can be grafted, what I am going to recommend is that you transplant it at least once a year, always making sure that the main root remains straight. On the other hand, the substrate is very important. We are going to try to find a black soil that is very permeable, that does not retain water, and we are also going to try to reduce the level of organic matter because it usually retains a greater amount of water because the avocado plant is very sensitive to waterlogging of the roots. After approximately a year and having transplanted it at least once, if we manage to have stems that are approximately 1 cm thick, we can start grafting. But if we see that the plant does not have a good stem thickness, we are going to wait approximately half a year more. And in this case, I am going to recommend that the plant receives more sun to accelerate growth. The ideal time to graft is when spring has already begun, taking into account that we have to make sure that there is no chance of any late frosts or low temperature periods. That is why it is better to do this around mid-spring, because that way we are ensuring that not only the photo period has increased, but we will also have warm temperatures that will be much more stable, because these two factors will make the plant much more active. The sap will start to be much more active throughout the plant and that is what we need so that when we graft, we have a good fusion of the two parts. And the main objective of grafting is that, since we have a plant that we made from seed and is not yet physiologically mature to start flowering and producing, what we are going to do is take a piece of a branch from another avocado that is already producing, because in this way we will already have a small branch that is physiologically mature to graft. A recommendation that I will give you in the event that you have several seeds that you have germinated, they will generally have different stem thicknesses. Before going out to look for the graft, 
We are going to use a small piece of cardboard to mark the thickness of the stem of each of the plants so that later when we go out to look for the graft from above, we have to try to find branches that are the same thickness so that a good fusion occurs. In this particular case, this is a tree that blooms every year. It is directly on the street and from here I am going to take some branches to graft. And with the cardboard we are going to look for branches that have the thickness of the plants that we made from seeds so that later they can fit well when we are doing the graft. On the other hand, it is very important that when gathering the pieces of branch that are going to work as grafts, we put them inside a bag so that they do not dehydrate, especially if it is very windy or very hot. To graft the branches we joined, I recommend making cuts approximately 10 centimeters long. It is very important to cover the entire part of the graft with nylon. We can do this with some nylon tape that we wrap around it. Otherwise, when we graft, we will put a bag on it to prevent it from dehydrating because no water will reach the roots until the graft heals properly. First, we will make a spike-shaped cut on the branch we went to find. It is very important that the tip is very straight so that the graft heals properly. On the other hand, we will make a short B-shaped cut on the plant we made from the seed so that the two parts can fit together. Here we have to make sure that the two cuts we are going to make, either the short B or the part of the cyan on top, fit together well. We join them, and we are going to try to make the cyan that we are going to graft on top reach all the way down the entire cut we made in the shape of a short B, and that there are no gaps, so that the graft fuses better. And to help achieve a better graft, we are going to wrap it with nylon, applying light pressure so that all the plant tissues are in good contact. And to give it extra protection, more than anything so that the branch we placed on top does not dehydrate, in addition to all this nylon that we wrapped around it, we can put a bag on it to retain extra moisture. Once we have the entire graft done, I recommend that you leave the plant in a place that does not receive direct sunlight, rather in partial shade to give it time to begin to fuse. And when the graft begins to activate, it is normal to see that the buds start to produce new leaves and if they remain below the nylon, we will cut it so that they can grow better. But it is also very common to see that the plant that we made from seed, the part that remained below the graft, oftentimes small shoots appear that, if we leave them, the plant will send all the energy it extracts from the root to those new shoots and will not go up to the graft. That is why it is very important that when we see these types of shoots on the basal stem, we cut them so that the extra energy goes up to the graft and we achieve a better plant. As time goes by and we see that the graft shoots are growing, we can remove all the nylon and we are going to start moving it to a place that receives a little more sun, so that the leaves of the graft that are above will speed up everything much more and fuse well. It is normal and sometimes it happens with this type of graft that we see that one side turns a brown color. Don't worry about this because if we see that the other side is still green, this is the sign that we have a part of the graft that we made that has fused well and the plant is going to start growing. With this graft we have already managed to advance many years because now all the part that we put on top is physiologically mature and this will cause flowering to start earlier. I send you a big greeting. Ciao.